everybody and welcome back to my channel Anna Wolfidius here with Mindy Hearts Counseling and in today's video we are going to do a little Q&A. Um, there is a question that I received that um, I'm going to answer and the question goes um, like this. Dear Anna, I used the law of attraction to create my vision board but I still am getting the same person. So as soon as I read this question, sorry, or the statement, the first thing that pops into my mind is how soon after your breakup or ending did you apply the law of attraction to bring in another person into your life? If we don't give time and space to work out what brought us to the separation in the first place, then the chances are that you're going to attract the same vibration of a person because you're still in that same vibration that you were in your previous relationship. So I feel like I share this quote all the time and I actually um, heard it again uh, today when I was listening to um, just my usual like research and development that I do in the mornings. And it was reminding us of that thing that we date who we are, not what we want. Energetically, it doesn't matter what we want. We're going to attract that which we still are. So if you just broke up from a relationship and you haven't done the work to see why it didn't work out in the first place, then you repeating the same pattern is of no surprise because you're still in that same vibration and you're attracting the exact same person. But uh, the beautiful thing about that is that it's easily changeable. Like awareness is really the key to the next step. So knowing something gives power to move forward. And sometimes it is as simple as just becoming aware of something. So I can relate this to myself. I felt like I kept repeating the same pattern over and over. And um, my last session that I had with my uh, with my counselor, my spiritual counselor, actually, and I was asking her, "Why am I still getting the same lesson over and over from the masculine? I I I don't understand what." I'm missing, but I knew that I was missing something. I knew that there was something that I was not looking. Um, why am I still having this experience where people want um, space for me and they can't get close to me? Or um, why, why is this happening? So it's easy to go down in the thoughts of like, uh, why doesn't anybody want to be close to me? What do, am I so bad? Like, what's so bad about me? Am I so awful that no one wants to be with me? What's wrong with me? But please don't go there. Do not do that to yourself ever. That is not the way to get to self-fulfillment or to um, change your energetic level to become a different vibration so you can attract something different. If you fall into those thoughts and you allow those thoughts to take over because we are what we predominantly think about, then we're going to go to guilt and shame where we start to feel sorry for ourselves and we feel shame about who we are and we feel guilt about how we are to other people. Do not do that. It is not ideal for you or for anyone for that matter because you would never speak to your friends that way. So why choose to speak to yourself in that manner? So... Say, for example, that this person is experiencing what I was experiencing. So the right way to use your thoughts is to say things like, okay, I'm having this experience where people are not getting, um, they're choosing space as opposed to wanting to get closer to me. So what am I doing? How am I creating this? And once you understand, because sometimes it's as simple as that, is understanding where that need comes from you to be close to someone and what that need is behind it. If, for example, you want to get close to someone because you really enjoy their company, that's completely different because you want to get close to someone because you want them to save you from, example, um, 
a childhood experience that you had where you literally needed to be saved and there was no one to save you from that experience to make you feel safe and you'll spend your entire life trying to look for that which makes sense now that's what happens it's like if you were not given water when you were a kid you're gonna look for, for that water to quench that thirst so if you were not given safety when you were a kid you're gonna look for that safety for the rest of your life so you can satisfy that need that's how it is so ask yourself different questions different thoughts don't ask questions like what's wrong with me why can anyone cl get close to me ask yourself the question where in my life did someone not get close to me where i needed them to be close to me and then you can give yourself that recorrective experience because you can do that um either through visualization you can do it on your own there's lots of guided meditations on youtube that will help you do that you can do it with uh, a trained professional like there's a wonderful regression therapist out there that are trained to do this um, you can do it with a spiritual uh, soul guidance counselor they are also able to do this um, or you can even do it in person I know that when I was um, asked by my counselor to do it in person with my uh, primary caregiver, who is my mother, to um, express to her in all the ways that I needed her to save me, um, I that thought really actually uh, scares me. I do not want to do that. Uh, first of all, I feel like I would create unnecessary pain right now because I can't imagine what it would be like for my daughter to come to me years later and saying to me, mom, this is what happened to me. and why weren't you there to save me? Like, I think that would break my heart um, because everyone is always doing the best that they can with the awareness that they have in that moment. So I also now know through my schooling that you don't exactly have to do it with the actual person itself, but you can do it in a visualization with a witness because the witness, like having a witness in that experience really um solidifies that this is taking place because there's a witness that grounds what's happening and you can write a letter and you can visualize yourself reading it to that person that it needs to be read to and it will be the same as talking to that person itself because your body cannot tell the difference between having the actual experience or you're creating the experience, it will still get exactly what it needs. And that's why the law of attraction also works so wonderfully is because your body doesn't know if you're visualizing something that you actually have or that you want to have. And it will just still give you that because you just attract that your body doesn't know the difference whether you actually have it or you're pretending to have it. It will just still act the same way. That's why they say if you act, not act, or like be in gratitude all the time, things will just keep coming to you because you're that vibration just keeps coming to you. So you can give yourself that recorrective experience by not confronting the actual person, but just you doing, um, yeah, like a mock therapy session with a witness to be able to ground that experience for you. And... I'm just going to look at my notes, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Right. When you see these um, cycles get repeated, for example, say in my case where the cycle of um, people um, not wanting to get close to me is being experienced, or there is a sense of like, yeah, not, not, yeah, not wanting to be, I don't know, I'm not sure if not wanting to take me on is the right word. But yeah, like not wanting to be close to me is experience. Um, don't take it personally. It doesn't mean anything about you. It doesn't mean that you're not good enough to get close to. It just means that that work has not been done. And it usually stems from childhood wounds or sometimes even in adolescent trauma. So just take a look into that and see what that means for you. But don't take it personally because if you take it personally, it's going to take you down to those route of thoughts that lead to guilt and shame. And that's the worst thing that you can do about you. Um, I'm not sure if anyone is familiar with the book, The Four Agreements, but that's one of the 
for rules. Don't take anything personally and don't um, make it mean anything about yourself. Don't assume what that means. Just take it for its literal translation. So in the case for me, um, yeah, how are you creating space? Like if someone's not wanting to be close to you and they want space, how are you creating that in your experience? Like how am I creating space between who I am and my true self? How am I doing that? Am I doing that by perhaps being um, not in the right occupation? If I'm doing a job that I don't love and I'm wishing to be doing something else, I'm creating space between myself and my true self. So that's going to be reflected back to me from something else to show me that this is taking place and it's my job to find out where. Maybe I'm in a relationship that's not serving me. So again, I would take a look to see where am I not being uh, truthful to myself? Where am I keeping a distance from what I want to still experience? So it will be nice if you asked yourself that same question when you have a relationship that has failed and there is a reason why that that has failed. Ask yourself, but use, turn the nouns and pronouns to point to self. So if the person said, I want space from you, or I need a space from you, or whatever it might be, be, just ask yourself the question, where am I taking space from myself? How am I distancing myself from my true self and what my true wants and needs are? And that's going to be your compass to what you need to heal or change about yourself. And that's going to change your vibration. And that will lead you to a different outcome when it comes to um, the law of attraction and using your vision board to, um, yeah, I attract in a new romantic partner. I think that I answered it all. Um, I hope that made lots of sense. Again, as always, I'm going to put everything in the description box that I uh, made a reference to. And I hope you're having a wonderful uh, beginning to your week. And remember that everything is always happening for you. Even these breakups, even like these comments, like they're always happening for you because this is how you're going to get uh, closer to your true self. <laughs> uh, no pun intended there. Um but yes, I'm always sending you my love and my gratitude. Thank you so much for all your questions and your support. Um, yes, I'm super grateful and I will uh, see you next time.